Good evening. Good evening. I am Joel Tullin. And I'm David Sanborn, and welcome to Sunday Night. In fact, welcome to episode number one of Sunday Night. So set your VCRs because the first of anything is always a collector's item. Good tip, Jules. Thank you very much, David. Um, let's give the audience some sort of an idea, some suggestion uh, of what I might brazenly call the philosophy of our show. Our idea was to put together unusual uh, combinations of musical talent, starting with David and me. Unusual, but not nuts. Uh, for example, not David Lee Roth and Barbara Bush. Or uh, Grandmaster Flash and Pavarotti. Um, although, now thinking about it, I, I think that's quite a good idea. I'd pay, I'd pay money to see something so like that, I. I guess. Anyway, the guests we do have on the show tonight are equally captivating. Uh, there's uh, James Taylor, a living legend and a man with a fantastic bit of a voice on him. And Milton Nascimento and uh, none of us Concelos, uh, two of the most popular and best loved musicians from Brazil. So, there you have it. Uh, James, Milton and Nana, uh, occasionally working together in unusual combinations, occasionally playing alone, sometimes in engaging in the petty squabbles that are the lifeblood of any artistic community. I'd pay to see that. Yes, so would I. So, let's go away so we can come right back. <laughs> James Taylor performed in Rio de Janeiro in 1985 when Brazil held its first free elections in many years. Artists exiled for their political beliefs were able to return and perform and James was inspired to write this song, Only a Dream in Rio. i 
my heart came back alive. There was more, more than the singing voices, more than the upturned faces, more than the shining light. But it's more than the shining light. Well, that's exactly the sort of thing I was talking about earlier. Fantastic, unusual combinations. I think we're on the right track. I think the concept is working. David, I think we should pursue it. Corazón and alma are two Portuguese words meaning heart and soul. Another way of saying heart and soul is Milton Nascimento. Here he is singing Cravo e Canela. <laughs> Mori mais que tempero, siga mais que tempero, o cheiro do cravo. Ei, menina que tempero, siga mais que tempero, a cor de canela. A lua morena, a dança do vento, o ventre da noite e o sol da manhã. A chuva cigana, a dança dos rios, o mel do cacau e o sol da manhã. Ei, morena que tempero, siga mais que tempero, o cheiro do cravo. Menina que tempero, siga na quem tempero, a cor de canela A lua morena, a dança do vento, o ventre da noite, o sol da manhã A chuva cigana, a dança dos rios, o mel do cacau e o sol da manhã
Before this next number is performed, our guest pianist, Don Gromick, has asked that I mention his name. I'm not prepared to do that, so let's get on with the next number, which is superb. Here are James and Milton performing Vendedor de Sonios. Vendedor de Sonios Tenho a profissão Viajante De cachero que traz na Like me, do you enjoy watching old movies on TV? But if you're like me, I bet you wonder when you see a crowd of people in a film made 40 years ago, how many of those people are dead now? Is he dead? Is she dead? Is that adorable baby all grown up and dead now? And what about those cars? Are they dead? Well, you aren't the only one who wondered. 
But when Golda Corto of Estes Park, Colorado wondered, she called us the National Face Finders. I had always loved the war movie Air Aces with Errol Flynn. But one scene spoiled it for me. That was when the air aces go to Times Square and there's a crowd scene and it was so real, it was disorienting. All I could think about was whatever became of those people. Well, Golda Cartho, let's find out. He's dead and he's dead. He grew up to be important, but he's dead. And see those women? They're dead, except for the one in the cape. And she's incredibly sick. Basically, she's dead. And that building's dead, and that bus is wrecked, and those signs are dead. Thank you. Now I can watch Air Aces again. And here's a testimonial from Roy Schiraldi, Buxton, Maine. The $50 I spent on your service was the best investment I ever made. Because of you, I can now watch that episode of Sergeant Bilko. You know, the one where Bilko and the Colonel go to Times Square to find some horrors, and there's this crowd scene. You don't know who's still living or dead. I tell you, it, it poisoned the whole experience for me. Rest easy, old timer. He's dead, she's dead, that little girl's in very bad shape, that trucker is dead, and the cop is dead, and these ladies are dead, 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 they're all dead, except this one man here in the hat, and he's right out in your very own audience. Give him a hand. Yes, uh, quite enough of that, thank you. Let's, let's move on, I'm sorry. And now singing the Junior Walker classic Roadrunner, James Taylor.
who will be appearing on our show regularly. Please welcome the extraordinary comedian Kevin Meany. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Kevin Meany. Thinking about changing my first name to Eeny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eeny Meany, figure it out for yourselves, folks. Uh, parents' names are Miney and Moe. I have a little brother by the name of Teeny Meany, and I have an Aunt Jeannie. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not getting off with Jed that joke. What's wrong with you people? God, my eye! I'm gonna poke out my eye. If my mother was here, that's what she'd be saying. Why do you do things like that? Putting the microphone in your eye. That's not right. You're like a mental case. Going up on stage, poking your eye out. God, the other comedians aren't poking their eyes out. Why do you have to do that? You know, one of these days you are gonna poke your eye out. One of your crazy comedian friends is gonna put a needle in that microphone. <laughs> then it's gonna be real funny, isn't it? Walking around with one eye. God, why do you do this to your father and I? I don't think you wanna see. <laughs> you probably have your one eye jokes already written. Anything in my house could poke an eye out when I was a kid. I'd be passing pizza across the table. You're gonna take your brother's eye out with that slice. Now put your goggles on and go to bed. Why do you do this to your father and I? Up there rolling all night like a madman. Your brothers don't roll. Your father doesn't roll all night long. Rolling, rolling. You're gonna fall out of that bed and poke your eye out. God, they were crazy, not me. We couldn't wear tight pants growing up in my family. You're not wearing those tight pants out tonight, mister. Get upstairs and put your big pants on. Going outside with tight pants on. We're big pan people. <laughs> Get up to your room and put your big pants on. The Lobermans are coming over. Your brother doesn't wear tight pants. Stop it! Get that knife out of your hand. You're gonna take your mother's eye out with that thing. God. Well, it's great to be here. I feel good. I believe in crystal light because I believe in me. Thank you. Oh, God, I, I got new clothes today. I go shopping. People mistake me for an employee. I'll go into a department store or a clothing store. Ladies come up to me. Pardon me, sir. Where do I return the gifts? I'll give them to me. <laughs> Take anything you like and walk right out that door. <laughs> Are you sure? I never heard of that policy before. Oh, ladies are stuck at the door. He said I could take it. I'm not a shoplifter. He's a crazy person. <laughs> <sighs> I drove down here today. I have a car in New York. I'm an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> You drive around, you drive along, around, you, thank you. You drive along, you'll see things on the side of the road. You ever notice clothing just laying out there? You'll see a shoe out there. You figure maybe some guy on his way to work. You know, I'm not gonna wear my left shoe today. I'm gonna toss that baby right out the window. See what the boss says about that. You'll even see that downtown. See pa pants on the sidewalk, tight pants. I told you you take those things off. Going into work with tight pants on. That's not right. <laughs> People in camouflage clothes, you ever see them? No, you can't see them, they're camouflaged. <laughs> they're walking around, nobody sees me, I'm camouflage man. <laughs> I saw this guy, he had camouflage pants on, I said, hey, where are your legs? <laughs> <laughs> they're camouflaged, you jerk. <laughs> the other day we saw a car painted with camouflage paint, just to prove a point, we ran into it. <laughs> That was camouflage, sir. I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm disturbing your coma. <laughs> I drove cross country. That was a big trip for me. Anybody ever drive cross country? No, none of us. We've never done anything you have. <laughs> I drove cross country, really got to see the country. Notice that there's no dotted lines between the states. <laughs> also, Kansas is not pink. <laughs> These are map jokes. Please try to follow me. Great jokes to tell in the car. I don't use a map, they're too big. You open them up, they're as big as the car. You should be like me when you drive, use a globe. <laughs> Have that baby right next to you while you're traveling. Well, I'm in North America. <laughs> <sighs> These are globe jokes, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> okay. I don't care. Uh, I don't care, I don't care. My jokes don't go over, I don't care. Everybody, I don't care. I don't, he does not care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, he does not care. I don't care. 
I'm happy go lucky. Women call me plucky. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, he does not care. I don't care. Look out, Hank Mancini. Here comes Zini Meeny. I don't care. One more time. No! I don't care. I don't. Shut up! I don't. We hate you. I don't care. We're gonna kill you. I don't care. Bing, bing, bing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This is stupid, making noises on the show. That's not right. Why do you do this to your father and I? Good night, ladies and jellyfish. You've been great. Thank you very much. You see that doctor? He's dead. Those kids are dead. That little girl is dead. Her brother's dead. And that little girl is dead. Christ, she's been dead for years. Uh, this plumber is dead, and that worker is dead. That plumber, he couldn't be deader. Uh, those actors are dead. Here's a dead actor. Here's a dead actor. A dead man, dead woman, dead kid, dead lawyer. Some guests of Sunday night stay with production manager Mark Offitzer, staying with staff members. It's cheaper than paying for a hotel room. Once again, Milton Nascimento singing his song, Consoles y Momentos. Há canções e há momentos Eu não sei como explicar Em que a voz é um instrumento Que eu não posso controlar Sentimento na plateia e na voz. Há canções e há momentos em que a voz vem da raiz. Eu não sei se é quando triste ou se quando sou. Fazer tal casamento Vive a nossa
fantastic, so haunting. Well, since being here, I've made a, a long study of international television personalities, and I've noticed that the best ones always have a catchphrase or a slogan. So I think I'll try my one out on, on all of you at home and here in the studio. It's confident, it's young, it's vital. It's this. I can't apologise enough. Yes, I think it's going to suit this show very well. <laughs> and really, I'm very, very sorry about it indeed. Uh, at any rate, it's uh, only the first show, but already I've got quite a lot to apologise for. And nothing quite says I'm sorry like a little bit of atoning music. Uh, Omar has come over with his brushes. So um, please watch the monitors for a few uh, apologies that I've prepared earlier. And let me apologise in advance for anything that you're about to, to see, really. <laughs> I can't apologise enough. We'll be right back. <laughs> With us all evening has been the great Brazilian percussionist Nana Vasconcelos. After 20 years of playing all over the world, his roots are still apparent in everything he plays. Here he joins Milton Nascimento for San Vicente. So 
sabor de vidro e corte. I'd like to thank our guests, James Taylor, Milton Nascimento, Nana Vasconcelos, and Kevin Meany. Jules, uh, anything you'd like to add? Yes, in many ways, I'd obviously like to sort of apologize to, uh, to well, all the different guests we've had on, really. They've been very good. I can't apologize enough, Milton, uh, Nana, Kevin, and, uh, of course, James. I'm, I'm really sorry, for, uh, and I'm sorry about the introduction. Could we have a bit of apologetic piano for the end there? Uh, of course, my apologies to David and the Sunday Night Band, and um, I'd like to apologise in advance for the next week's guests. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember their names. And, as always, um, well... We, we apologise to our studio audience. I think so. So, to everyone watching at home, then, thank you, and I'd like to say goodnight, but um, I'd rather just apologise. <laughs> oh, we're getting the sun. We've got an extra 30 oh, seconds no. of time to kill. We have to make something up? I think uh, we might make something up. We might introduce might introduce the members in the band, but I don't think we'd have enough no. time in 30 seconds. <laughs> I can't fair. apologize enough. Maybe we could just get a glimpse of them. But it would be unfair to name any one of them individually uh, so, and not yeah. the others. <laughs> they've done well, though. Do you think yeah, they'll be back on the show next week? They've done extraordinarily well. I hope so. Yes. Marcus Miller, the superb. Yes. We've got a few minutes to go now. Marcus Miller. So, do you want to just run through the names quickly? Uh, Marcus Miller, uh, Hiram Bullock, uh, Omar Hakim, Philippe Sais. I think that's Don quite said. We're out of time now, but we know. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Tom, and we're going to swing one of the good old good ones for you. Beautiful number. I cover the waterfront. I cover the waterfront. I like it. Look at that. Look at this. One, two. I'm watching the sea, cause the one I love soon comes back to me. Send it a steady, I covered the one friend in search of my love, and I'm covered by the solid skies above. Oh, baby, every mind was shortly waiting, hoping it's on your friend. Are you forgetting? Will you remember? Will you return? I cover the one sun. I'm watching the sea. Girl, the one I love will soon come me. I cover the one sun. Watching the sea, babe. One I love. Come 